Hey guys, so this is all about dreaming big. So it's all about you, right? It's, it's all about me in my world. It's all about you in your world. So what are the reasons that you came into this business? Maybe you came in for a discount. You wanted to reap the rewards of, you know, filling your cupboards and being able to offer it to family and friends. Maybe you came in to get out of the house every once in a while, um, you know, one or two times a week. Maybe you came in just to have some fun and meet new people and make some fun money along the way. Maybe you came in because you wanted a career change and you're looking for something that is an executive income without the executive hours. And so the first step in dreaming big is getting the information so that you're educated and so that you can make more educated decisions to know how it can fit into your life. And so the first thing that I want to encourage you is to create a dream board. And do you know what a dream board is? So a dream board is whether you use cardstock or a poster board or a pillowcase, something that you can just start drawing out. Maybe you cut out pictures um, of things that you want to have. Maybe you start writing words down, words that mean something to you like ambition or freedom. Um, be a part of a community or a family. Be part of something bigger, right? So start writing down words and then you can expand that word down into smaller, more bite-sized pieces. It can be things that you want to have. So it could be things like, um, you know, do you have a certain car you want? Do you have a dream house you want? Maybe it's certain landscaping or remodeling that you want to do. Maybe it's saving for education for your kids or your grandkids, depending on what life, season of life you're in. Maybe it is um, a retirement fund. The list is limitless but you get to sit down and create it. Create this bucket list, this thing of fun things that you want to enjoy and do in life, right? Bucket list doesn't have to just be these things you want to do like quick before you die, right? It's not that. A bucket list is enjoying life in the moment along each day to so create that. You get to design it. Another thing you can think about is what speaks to you. Like, what do you want to do in, in life? What do you want to be a part of? What do you want to go and experience? What do you want to, what do you want to do? What do you want to, what do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to have? And so think of, it's things beyond tangible things like, um, you could be a, a big clock, right? A big clock, and that can be time because maybe you want more time with your family or your kids, or maybe you want more time to go volunteer and be a part of things that are truly your heart's desire. But with the time you have now, you may not have that. Maybe it is things, you got to do a variety of things from simple like shoes. Maybe you want a new pair of shoes every single week or month. Maybe you want a new outfit. Maybe it's you want to go get a massage every week or two, right? Those things that pamper you, um, but that right now you don't have nor want to take out of that family budget or those funds. Um, maybe it's new carpet in your home or new paint or new pictures. Maybe it's a bike for the kids, right? So focus on those things. Share it. Share it with your loved ones. Share it with your spouse. Share it with, with your mom or your sister. Or someone who is positive and uplifting and will help cheer you on and hold you accountable to those dreams and to that to that vision that you have for the reasons that you want them. What about find out what your kids want or your family wants? 
right? Sometimes us as women or moms, sometimes that can be the driver, our heart. It touches our heart. And so we're like, well, if our family wants this, I can work over here in the schedule that allows me to. And it's going for this purpose. Also, I want you to think about it's a perfect world, okay? It's an absolute perfect world that whatever you dream, you can have it. You can have it. There's no reason you can't. That big dreams are designed to make your tummy tickle. Make your tummy have these little flutters in it. Because that excites you. Not makes your tummy hurt because when we think of our tummy hurting, those that doesn't feel so well. But tummy tickling, that's kind of like that, ooh, this, this could happen. So when you're setting your big dreams, your, your dream board with all kinds of things, you want smaller that can be achieved in a couple of weeks, in a month, then it gets a little bit bigger in a couple of months, a little bit bigger in six months, bigger in a year. So if it's things you already know are going to happen, that's not a big dream, right? It's not big enough. You want to stretch yourself and come up with that list of things that you're like, what if, okay? So what if you lived life on your terms? You get to have the schedule you want. You get to have the dreams and the goals and the, and the things you want, whether tangible or intangible. And I want you to think this too, what we think about, we bring about. Example, maybe you get up in the morning, you stub your toe and you're like, dang it, this day is not going to go well. And then all of a sudden you drop your cup of coffee or tea on your lap. Um, then you, you um, forgot your umbrella and it's pouring down rain. And then the next thing you run into somebody or going into the office or you get stuck in traffic, right? You have got to stop thinking about the bad things or the negative things because our thoughts become real. Our thoughts become reality. And whatever we think about, we bring about over and over and over. It comes back to us threefold. And you've got to come back to your dreams and your wishes and your desires um, because those things, when you start thinking positive, those things are going to start happening. When you start thinking you are going to live an abundant life, that's going to happen. If you're thinking, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough parties, I don't have a working team, I don't have this, I don't have that, you're going to keep repeating that. It's gonna, that's going to find you. But if you continue, if you start thinking, I'm going to have an abundant life, I have going to have more than enough income to go do X, Y, and Z and to be able to help over here in this area or help these people, that's going to start coming to you. And so all of your dreams can come true. And I want to leave you with this. It's a quote from Walt Disney. When all of your dreams can come true, when we find the courage to go pursue them. So I encourage you to go pursue.